I got these reproductions of some woodworking related patents. And they have really cool illustrations. So I wanted to make a frame to put those in. I went to the transfer station to get rid of some scrap wood and I came back with more than I started with. Uh, these two oak pallets had some really nice figure in them. I wanted to make this really simple so I decided I would just CNC the openings out of a single board. To give it a little bit more visual interest I decided I would use a pocketing toolpath around the edge of the openings and that would reveal the clean oak underneath the rough texture of the pallets. And then a profile toolpath cuts out the opening. And I use tabs to keep that inner part from going flying. And I jointed the back edge of the pallet boards. And I wasn't going for a totally flat surface. I just wanted something that wouldn't rock in the CNC and would sit flat on the wall. And it takes a little finesse because you're trying to get the front edge of the pallets to line up with each other pretty closely. I thought it would be interesting to get the nail holes in the two spaces between the three pictures. So when I glued up the two pieces, I had to space those just right. So after the CNC did its work, all I had to do was put a rabbit on the back side and square up the corners. Of course, in the process of doing that, all of the weak points in the pallet wood came apart, so I had to glue it back together again. Not a big deal. It's better to have it fall apart on the bench than on the wall. And I just did one quick coat of shellac. So that's about it for this one. They can't all be complicated projects, right? But since this is such a simple project, I have a little bonus Over the winter I made a bunch of 4 inch cubes with sliding lids. You can see there's a little bit of a gap for the lids to slide and at the time they slid very easily. But now it's summer and the humidity in the shop has gone from around 30% to 65% because my dehumidifier is broken and those little gaps are gone and it's impossible to move that lid. Uh, we, we usually think about wood movement on big things, but even these little boxes that are only four inches wide, if you go across the grain, it's a problem.